Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to input text into TinyMCE using Selenium Python WebDriver. In some web applications, the TinyMCE editor is embedded in the site. So you need to type in some text into the tiny MC editor body and do assertion on the text. So let's look at the tiny MC demo site. On this tiny MC demo, you can find basic example and full featured example and also some other examples. In this tutorial, I will explain how to input text into the full featured tiny MC editor. Inputting text into the editor a little bit tricky because in this version, we need to switch to frame multiple times and then we can input text. So before we inputting text into the text editor, we need to clear all the content and then we can enter text. Now let's look at the HTML hierarchy and find out how we can interact the web driver with the tiny MC active editor. So I right click on this active editor. Um, actually it displays the context menu. So uh, I right click outside of the editor, right click here and click on inspect. So now the HTML element is displayed. So now I scroll down until the activator displayed. So now let's look at the frame. So click on the selector and just move into this area. Now let's look at the structure. So this HTML is under the iframe mce-0-iframe. So this is one iframe. And let's scroll up a little bit. So this iframe is under another iframe. Because we have one HTML class here. And that class is under another iframe. The iframe name is result iframe. And let's scroll up the element structure and move a little bit to the top. So this result iframe is under another iframe called cp underscore embed underscore ng e g z k. So as you see on this element hierarchy, we have top level iframe. And under that iframe, we have second level result iframe. And under this second level result iframe, we have the third level iframe. It is the tiny MC iframe. So in order to interact with the MC text body, we need to use switch to frame three times. First, we need to switch the driver to the top iframe. And then we need to switch to result iframe. And then we need to switch to the tiny MC iframe. And then we can interact with this um, tiny MC editor. So in this example, I clear all the text under this uh, tiny MCE. 
after I clear all text, I enter a sum text string and do assertion. So in my example, I enter selenium master on the first line and I move to the second line and then I enter selenium python web driver and then I do assertion on the selenium python web driver text string. Now let's look at the actual um, text script on the selenium python web driver tiny mc python file. So I move this script here and close this window. So I created a python file and saved it as selenium python web driver tiny mc.py and again I use python web driver unit test framework or python unit test framework and I added a uh, time for some uh, delay in the test from selenium I import web driver from selenium web driver I import keys and in the class I use tiny mc test test in the setup method I define a driver instance for Chrome self.driver equals webdriver.chrome and self.driver maximize window. Now I define a test method test tiny mc intertext test. So driver equals self.driver and first navigate to the demo site driver.get https colon slash slash www.tinymc.com slash docs slash demo slash full featured and this is the demo site I added two seconds slip time time dot slip two seconds now let's look at each frame so top frame is top frame equals driver dot find element by ID and this is the frame, frame name. Now I use switch to frame so I switch to the top frame. Now I define the result frame this is the second level frame equals driver dot find element by ID result frame and switch to the result frame. Third level is define MC frame. MC frame equals driver dot find element by ID MC underscore zero underscore IFR and then switch to frame. Driver dot switch to frame MC frame. So now the web driver is pointing to the tiny mc text editor so now i define the editor body mc edit equals driver dot find element by xpath and body id equals tiny mc now i add slip time five seconds so we can observe now we clear this um, body tiny mc body so there is no text and add five seconds of time. Now MC edit dot send case selenium master. I input the text into the tiny MC. Now add five seconds of time. Now MC edit send case keys dot enter. This is for pressing enter to move the cursor to the second line and slip 5 seconds then mc edit send case python web driver uh, tutorial then time dot slip 5 seconds again after that i get the text body text equals mc edit dot text so get the text of the tiny mc body 
and then verify that the uh, body text contains Python WebDriver tutorial. So in this line, we use body text dot find Python WebDriver tutorial. So this will return a string greater than one uh, because the Python WebDriver tutorial was on the second line. And um, if this string is exist within the body text, then it should be greater than one. So on the teardown method, use self.driver.close and self.driver.quit. So here, uh, use the unit test frame. Uh, if name equals main, then do unit test.main. So this way we can input text into the tiny MC editor and do assertion. Now let's run the script and observe its result. So and again, we use the uh, command line to run the script. So I save the file as Selenium Python WebDriver tiny MC. So Python, Selenium, Python, WebDriver, tiny, mc.py. Now I hit enter. So browser opened, maximized. And this uh, full featured example is loaded. Now I uh, scroll down a little bit so you can see. Now the um, content is cleared. So Selenium master is typed. And uh, second line. So Python web driver that's typed. Now the assertion is done and test is completed. So on the console display that run one test in 36 seconds and test result is okay. The test is completed in a longer time because I added uh, a lot more slip time in order to uh, demonstrate the example for the video and uh, for you to learn the script easily. So to summarize, in order to input text into the tiny MC editor. Depending on the element hierarchy, you need to use switch to frame three times to switch the web driver to the tiny MC editor body. And then you can use the clear method to clear the tiny MC um, text body. And you can use the send case to input text and you can use send the case case that enter to switch to the new line and you can use the send the case to input text and you can use the uh, find text find method to do assertion if you have any questions regarding this example you can always visit the instructional article on the seleniummaster.com website or you can always send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.